Hey guys, and welcome back to Yume Nikki. Let's go back into the dream world and continue where we left off. By the way, my name's Rex. Thank you for watching. And we are back in this scary dream world. I wonder what sort of shenanigans we'll find today. Which door should we choose? I think we need to look at this eyeball door. Is it that one? No, there's a dark one that I want to go to. Is it this one? Or is that the one with the candles? This is the one with the candles. I did not want to go there. I want to go here. Well, oh, this is an interesting one too. Maybe I don't want to go there. Mayhaps I want to go... Where is it? There's one... Why am I not wearing my bicycle? Wearing... <laughs> I'm not riding my bicycle. Speaking of bicycle, that's where you got it. All right, where is this door that I want to go to? Is it this one? Yes. It's dark. I can't see gosh darn thing. So perhaps I'll come back to that one later. There's an effect you can get where you'll turn into a light. Where is the... Oh yeah, she sits down if you press 1 as Matatsuki. There we are. We'll get our bicycle out. And let's go to the eyeball one. Let's just do it. It's not a fun one. Okay, so as you can see, we have eyeballs on the ground. And some more stuff in the background. And there are hands here. Now one of these hands has an eye in it. And that's an effect where Matatsuki will turn into a hand with an eye. And it's another useful one. As you can see, there's some more of this dark imagery here we have I don't know what these are and I don't know I haven't a single clue what they could mean anyway we'll have to search here for the one with the eyeball the hand with the eyeball in it do you have an eyeball in your hand doesn't look like it there's a leg hopping around these things yeah, they just hop around oh here it is there we go we found it not bad Meta Maudi. Now, the reason this one is useful is because you turn into that, which is, you know, it's just ever so beautiful. And when you, oops, when you press the one button, you'll get warped back to the door room. So that's why that one's important to have, and it will be very useful. We'll be using it quite often. All right. What have we here? This is the forest. And when you, oh, this is an interesting thing. When you, when you get, when you interact with these, it gets on top of your head and then follows you around. What could that mean? Can you find any meaning in that? There's got to be some sort of representation there of what that could mean. Now here's one that looks a little more evil. Let me just go around collecting these guys. That's the door we started in. There's an exit somewhere around here. What are we doing with our lives? Oh my goodness. Gracious great balls of fire. There should be an exit somewhere around here. Where is it? There's a secret. Secret, secret. No, I, these are hard to find, these little secrets. So, I'll just do a jump cut when I find it. Actually, this is strange, but when I when I talk about doing the jump cut and then I, I'll get quiet and I won't talk, I feel as though I'm alone. <laughs> when I'm talking, I, I it feels like I'm talking to somebody. Well, I'm, I mean, I am. I'm talking to you guys, but it's like... When I say, oh, I'm just going to go look for something really quick and I'll be right back. It makes me feel like I'm alone and I don't want to be alone in this game. Uh-oh. Why am I getting crazy lag? Can I can't just catch a break here? Yeah, so basically don't leave me alone, guys. I don't want to be alone here in this nasty dream world. Oh, there's a frog. There you are, frog. What, what, do, you, what do you do? There we go. We got the frog effect. That was a winner. Okay, so... Let's just warp back to the door 
place. Where are you? Oh, this thing. And we will warp back to the door. Probably got some lag there because I was wearing that thing. Wearing all those slugs on my head. Oh, there's something else that I wanted to show you. We'll make it snow. And I believe if after that we get out the hat and scarf, we can turn into a snowman? Yeah. So we turn into a snowman. And I believe that's important at some point. But I'm not entirely sure. Poor Matatsuki is cold. So let's get our bicycle back out. And we'll go here. If I can get to it. Oh, this is the dark one. There is one that I wanted to check out really quick. There are so many places to go. Okay. This one's creepy. But it's got street lights. So in here is we should be able to find a street light. I didn't want it to be raining or snowing. So I'm gonna pinch myself and fix the snow. I'll be back. Alright, there we are. It's not snowing anymore, so let's see if we can find there's one. Hey, turn the lights on and off. There should be a light in here. What was that? Nope, oh, nope. That was just a puddle. Now one of these effects is a traffic light, and you get that. Actually, you get that outside. There's some. There's something outside, or at least it looks like it's outside. And I can't remember how to get there, but there we go. Here we are. This is what I was looking for. Umbrella. So we got the umbrella effect, which I will demonstrate. I also haven't demonstrated the frog, so let's do that as well. So the umbrella makes it rain. Now some people have suggested that Matatsuki was involved with a car in a car wreck or had someone that she loved that died in a car wreck on a rainy day and you will see that because there is a character later on that is in the middle of the street and he appears as though he's dead and when you interact with him you get the street light the traffic light effect but as far as i know I don't know. <laughs> That's basically, I don't know anything about this game. Let's explore a little bit more of this area and see if we can find anything interesting. <laughs> she spins her umbrella around. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? Let's go in here and see what... Ah, there it is. So... Can't really react with it other than have it make a sound. So here is a little road. We're outside and it is raining. I don't know if that's because we made it rain or because this map usually rains. I'm gonna keep going down this way. There is something up there. I don't know what's causing this little weird lag my computer's doing. This is annoying. I mean it's part of the game. It's definitely not my computer. These guys are important. Little jellyfish guys. We'll talk about them later. Okay. Where are we? Okay, so we went around in a circle. There was a jellyfish guy. Let's go up. Wait, where, where are we? Okay, let's go up. Well, let's go up this way and see what's up this way. Is there anything up here? I can't see anything worth mentioning. I wanted to see if I could get the traffic signal. Oh, hey. What is this? It's a lone tree. It's dead. I thought that was an effect. No, there is a dead there is a dead tree that looks similar similar to that, I believe. That is an effect. Okay. I might have to do some exploring here off screen. But I don't want to do that because I like showing you the scenery here. Oh my goodness. What's down this way? I wonder. Oh, we're back down. Okay, the secret, I believe, is let's 
let's keep going until we see the jellyfish guy again. So I'll just jump to when I when we see him. All right, this jellyfish guy. Ding ding ding, and let's go back the other way. And I believe that the it should change. Yes, it's changed. So now we're here, and again, this is going to get a little creepy. So these things, people have said that they could represent, you know, the female reproduction system, which would f further support the theory that Maratsuki had been assaulted, perhaps, or had become pregnant, again with the fertility that we talked about last episode. So it seems to repeat, but once like it just goes in an infinite circle but once you start going back you'll notice here in just a moment there's an extra one that was not there and then it looks at you as you go through now this is the place that I was talking about when you go to the end of this road we should see a man that's lying on the ground and he appears to have been run over there's traffic cones now when you interact with him you get the stoplight and I'll demonstrate what that does. It's a very useful item. I'm glad we're getting all these useful ones first. Because it stops enemies, not enemies, but it stops people. So when we click on it, then the characters in this game that move around will stop moving. And then we can allow them to go. So that's useful when you're navigating this maze that we'll, we'll discover in the future. And in that maze, there are the... Terinogen, again that we talked about last episode, who chase you and try to wreck your dreams. So, it's useful for stopping them because they can't move. You just do the stoplight. What's in here? Is this a thing? Can I, can I go in that? Or is that just a... Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. It's a thing, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like this is a thing. Let me go in the thing. Perhaps it's an exit. It could be another exit. Alright. Yes, yeah, so people suggested that this was somebody that Matatsuki had loved or was close to her in some way and he died tragically in a wreck. So I believe this is just an infinite cycle. I don't think we can escape this. I could be mistaken. Before I pinch myself, let's explore this area just a, just a smidge more and then we'll call it an episode. We did pretty good today. We got... It, did we get four more effects or three more or something like that yeah I don't believe we can get past this tree here anyway yeah I'm gonna pinch myself and save and that will be all for this episode I do hope you enjoyed it if you did join me next time for more you may Nikki and if you missed the first episode I recommend going to check it out it's pretty cool all right that's it you take care guys bye